hey guys this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETL QA lab so guys today we will not be talking about any technical stuff rather we will be talking about something career related to ETL testing profile right and uh, it's very encouraging and soothing to see that uh, many many people have uh, you know um, uh, uh, has switched their career into into te ETL testing profile and uh, they have already shared a lot of feedback on the channel that you know it's uh, really making a good impact so this channel that i have uh, started i think uh, four months back i guess yeah not if not uh, more right and uh, now i think uh, uh, i have a very good amount of uh, videos there and uh, covering multiple topics that is really needed for the etl testing right and uh, people have shared that you know uh, the interview in interview they are actually uh, able to answer the questions when they are actually listening all all of my videos right and uh, some of them said that they have already switched the career into retail testing and i i, uh, I th th that's really give me a lot of encouragement also to do lot lot and lot more videos guys right and the whole intention of this channel is to uh, you know uh, share my uh, uh, my knowledge so that it can benefit many many and many people right around right so that's the whole intention and uh, I can see that you know my hard work that I have put in uh, to do this channel is really paying off now okay and I'm so happy that I am at least able to help some people okay so that's really uh, good news right and uh, on the other side i think uh, still there are a lot of people who need the questions uh, the answers to various questions right that i have listed down here and uh, hopefully uh, once i answer this question that will be also giving them the encouragement to work into uh, or, or switch their career into testing right it will testing specifically right so guys uh, the thing is uh, these questions uh, i have just consolidated it uh, uh, from the channel on uh, various occasions right and uh, i decided this to uh, give the honest answer that i am experiencing and what i am observing now right and uh, ever since i started my career right and uh, so based on that i will be uh, sharing my views and uh, it will be very honest okay and uh, then later you decide see the people who are not working into etl testing for them this this video is very very important and also the people who actually just started for them also it is going to give uh, you the proper direction whether you need to continue or whether you need to you know uh, uh, take your career uh, into this direction or you still are okay uh, working into some other area of the you know it world or non it world right so this this video is going to be very very crucial for everyone who are aspiring to be etl tester or uh, turn or switch their career into etl testing profile right so uh, see guys uh, uh, look at all these questions right and then uh, decide what you want to do right i'm going to share you uh, my honest feedback so that it can be uh, benefit beneficial for you to take the decision right so guys first of first question is how to switch career into etl testing profile right so this question i think it is uh, mm, this question means uh, to uh, this questions uh, have the difference on answer to a different people right so i would normally categorize three different type of people three different uh, level of people one uh, people who are already working into it but they are not working into testing world right second set of people who are working into manual testing or functional testing they want to switch into etl testing right third set of people who are not working into it at all they are the non it background and people who are also working into uh, 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 are are people who are actually freshers right one one year or, or less than one year and all those kind of uh, right so three categories of people right for them the switching into etl testing can be uh, different right for example person who is working into software it right that person is definitely having some exposure into testing what is happening in testing and at least uh, overall uh, you know the software development life cycle right so that person is aware about it right how it is happening and what is the it culture etc right for them transitioning into etl testing is easier right 
I would say easier. Now the second setup people who are working into testing, right? And but they are not working into ETL testing. They are working, let's say, functional testing or manual testing, or uh, maybe some other testing, right? Uh, so for them. Uh, transition is really smooth why because you already know the testing you just need to uh, adopt the additional skills that is needed to switch you into career uh, uh, switch your career into etl testing right so and then third set of people who are actually freshers or who are non uh, non it background they have they do not have any exposure into it world right for them it is going to be a bit uh, I would not say tough, but I would say uh, it's not very easy, right? So what you have to do is, right? What you that person has to basically learn uh, one by one, right? The skill sets that I'm going to mention it here, that person has to learn one by one, right? And also, uh, what what uh, what all the things is needed? First of all, uh, create that person has to create the resume, right? Or the the resume or the CVs, right? And float into the uh, job sites, right? First of all, this is the first step that is needed, right? Uh, I would say suggest that before you uh, start learning, you should actually float your profile here, right? So that you know you will get more more encouragement when recruiters will call you, then you will get more encouragement, you know, to read and study, right? And this is the trick basically. Many people apply, uh, do it without any preparation. Also, they will start floating, and they, and they will start getting the recruiters call. Then they, that will give them encouragement and motivation to learn more and more things, right? Faster. This is the one, right? First thing, this you have to do it, right? First of all. Now, uh, people who are already working uh, into um, into industry, right? And uh, for them also, it is applicable. But they can also switch internally within the within the company, right? Uh, so for them, they need to learn the skills required skills, right? I'll tell you uh, how to learn, and I, I will also tell you what you have to learn uh, first, and what you have to learn later, and what is most important thing, right? Okay. So this is the first step, and then after that, uh, start attending interview, and then learn skills needed, right? Simply, this is the one, right? And guys, uh, one more thing: many people are asking that if they are, you know, they are just uh, batch, they are having the bat bachelor degree, but not uh, non-engineering degree. For example, B.Sc. Mathematics, B.Sc. Chemistry, Physics, etc., right? Are uh, become etc. Then uh, is it uh, easy for them to switch into this career? So guys, I will tell you, uh, um, uh, it's not. I will say it's not impossible as well, and it's not very tough also. But only thing is, one thing will happen here if you are having the bachelor degree and you do not have, especially non-engineering degree. But engineering is also a bachelor degree, right? B, B Tech and uh, M, uh, B Tech and B, those are also uh, bachelor degree, but they are sufficient enough to, uh, they are sufficient enough, and I think that is uh, important. Uh, that is the degree that every employer needed, basically B Tech, right? And B. But if you, uh, so people who are B or B Tech, I think for them, this is perfect. Uh, I mean, there is no problem. You can, um, learn it and you can uh, switch the, your career right so that's only needed thing right people who do not have engineering degree non-engineering uh, bachelor degree and they are having those people will also uh, can switch their career okay only thing is uh, they will be getting lesser calls from the recruiters or the employers right so for example if engineering degree uh, person who is having engineering degree is getting 10 calls okay out of 10 okay he's getting all the calls because that is the from the qualification point of view right uh, then uh, the people who is having non engineering degree and bachelor degree okay uh, he or she might get uh, maybe 4 out of 10 right that's the only difference right in terms of getting the calls right but when you go for interview i think it will be pretty much same there will no, no there will not be any distinction if you are able to answer the questions you will be get, you will get selected right so this is only to shortlist your profile right this degree uh, and uh, you know qualification is needed yeah obviously that will have the impact on um, your screening the profile uh, but then later also it might have but uh, i will say that don't get disappointed that uh, 
if you do not have engineering degree you will not be getting call there are a lot of companies who will be actually not uh, looking at the uh, your qualification rather they will be looking at your skills that you are having right so don't worry about it you go and uh, you know um, uh, start searching for your job right so this is for I, I say BTEC or BE right this is non engineering bachelor okay bachelor profile okay guys I forgot to mention here other degrees also like MSc C computer science or maybe uh, MCA MCM there are so many other degrees right they are equivalent to BTEC or BE right so these are also uh, pretty much they are also valued equally right okay <coughs> so this is from the uh, how uh, you know what all the things you have to do now guys uh, the second question is how to start preparing for ATL testing interview right so that is what I am going to talk about it so how do you start uh, preparing about ATL testing guys I am going to show you the playlist and from there you have to actually so these questions basically are uh, interlinked I would say okay so what you have to do is first of all uh, let me show you right so this is the complete playlist that I have uh, done so far guys and uh, most important thing is basically you have to follow the sequence that I am going to tell you for uh, for you to at least get the job right so uh, I would combine these two questions together I'll answer this okay how to start preparing so it's basically you know um, here I would say that I'm expecting three months dedicated efforts for four to five hours okay this is more than sufficient okay I'll say uh, this is more than sufficient for you to prepare uh, from zero okay and to get a job also so three months dedicated efforts uh, for four to five hours daily basis okay it's important it's needed uh, if you seriously looking to change your career right now a skills needed uh, what are the skills are needed right uh, skills to learn yeah skills to learn so first thing very first uh, skill that you need to learn is basically SQL okay SQL is I will say that 80% questions 80% questions will be asked from SQL 7 to uh, not ST I think it will be extra but I will say 7 to 2 80 percent questions will be asked from SQL okay most of the interviewer will ask you SQL whether you are good at writing the SQL or not right for that guys if you look at this video I have done thumb 34 videos right and they all are in sequences okay there are interview questions as well okay so what you have to do is uh, let me open it and show you one second I think I have some one second guys I have some internet connectivity issues one second uh, okay guys so see this is the SQL series that I have covered okay so basically uh, these are the interview questions that uh, you can expect this too but what I would say is I will suggest you to start from here right okay start from video number three and uh, from here I think you follow everything until end okay and and then you can come back to uh, you can also come back to uh, this questions as well right once you develop certain level of understanding right so this this uh, series is very very uh, nicely covered and if you understand every bits and pieces around this particular series then I think uh, nobody can ask you any questions outside this that's my guarantee right and uh, if uh, so you need to understand all of them so there are 34 videos all together okay and you have to make sure it's not just uh, you know uh, uh, you know playing it and then understanding it I will suggest that you also install the Oracle and then you do the practice alongside how I have done right here everything I have I have done all the practice uh, videos and then I have shared it here guys okay it's not uh, 
that I have just uh, you know written it I have already shown you everything uh, how to execute how to write etc so that's the reason so SQL is the first thing that you have to learn okay 70 to 80 percent questions will be asked from this uh, SQL series okay and this uh, this 34 videos I think more than enough for you if you at all need anything you let me know but uh, very unlikely that people will ask outside anything outside this okay second thing is the ETL testing okay ETL testing concepts guys okay this is very important okay and then around if I'll say around uh, 15 to 20 percent questions will be asked from here okay okay 15 to 20 percent questions will be asked from here and sometime uh, they might not ask so many questions from SQL then they will actually go to ETL testing concepts also right so this can also be the case right so these are the two top skills that you need to learn okay and for that I have videos okay let me show you guys okay one second all right okay where are we let me go back okay not here this is Hetu and no guys okay okay let me go to playlist all right playlist right I just want to cancel it guys okay now see here is the ETL testing playlist where it is here ETL testing playlist there are 28 videos and these are also self-sufficient to answer any kind of ETL testing questions right the concept etc right how to do the testing what are the different kind of uh, you know checks that we perform everything how to write test cases and all right so everything is here you also go through this so first priority you should be actually doing SQL and once you are finished with SQL you should actually jump to uh, uh, ETL testing okay you can also do little bit of parallel but then I will suggest that uh, cover one by one so first learn this and then you switch it here right second thing and third thing I will say I think these are the two primary skills that you need to uh, learn okay first of all and uh, mostly if you know these two things I think uh, you are selected okay you will be selected until unless uh, there is a specific requirement for uh, you know Linux or uh, 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 what you say cell scripting related uh, uh, you know uh, requirements right but these are the two top things that you need to learn and then third thing is data warehousing guys okay sometime they might be asking you data warehousing concepts right so you should be knowing the data warehousing concepts as well and here I have done few videos here I think four videos I think this will give you good understanding around the data warehousing concepts right I think here also maybe five percent sometime they will ask they will not ask also okay if people know that then they, they will ask otherwise they will not ask okay so this uh, will be based on your experience also if you are like two years and all fresher and all they might not even touch this part right and they uh, for fresher I think they will be okay with this SQL only right and they might touch little bit about ETL testing otherwise they will be okay with this SQL only now the fourth skill is basically Linux okay Linux also they might ask if there is a completely Linux based testing then you might expect a lot of questions here guys okay but generally generally out of 10 projects I think uh, 6 to 7 projects do not need uh, a lot of uh, Linux based uh, you know uh, uh, coding right they do not need it right only 3 to 2 to 3 projects out of 10 I mean 20 percent projects only need the Linux base that's my personal understanding so if so here okay if it is Linux based then they might ask you some good amount of questions like 20 percent or something otherwise they will be okay with 10 percent uh, of the questions they will be asking from the Linux base so for Linux also I have covered good amount of uh, to videos here almost 10 right and this 10 videos are covering everything I think almost this is specifically for tester so if you are done with this I think you are good okay now guys uh, what is the other things okay so if you are from the non testing background okay this I am assuming that you are already uh, you already know the testing okay uh, person who is working into testing okay person who is not working into testing 
uh, he is in IT or he or she is in IT or non -back technical background then testing concept is also important right testing concept people might ask you simple testing uh, processes basically so I have covered some videos here guys where is that let me show you here right seven videos here right software testing process and concept I think you should also cover this right so this uh, this they might ask some 10% questions right so I'm just I, it's very uh, difficult to tell guys like <laughs> what is 10% and all but the thing is you understand right I already put the priority here right if if you're not into testing background okay if you're not for the testing in the testing background then probably this skill set will go here okay so this is for non-testing background so this is skill set testing skill set will go up if you already into IT and you know testing then toast testing can be at the end basically okay because whatever concept I have covered otherwise this will be here okay so hope you are able to understand it right so uh, looking at this you should go first attempt learning SQL A to Z whatever I have covered now ETL testing after that okay second one and if you are from non testing background then you should learn really the testing third one okay and if you are uh, and then okay and after that this is for non testing I would say guys that's in non IT non IT and uh, non testing okay fine this is for them and for this is for for functional testing people right functional testing people they are already into testing okay but for them the testing will come at the end and they need to learn very basic minimal they already know that's the reason actually I have put in here right so this is how you have to learn guys okay and uh, as I said that three three months dedicated efforts for four to five hours is daily is more than enough to get a good job in very good reputed branded company all right all right now guys uh, let's try to see how is the job market for ETL test engineer now okay now so coming to this question I think right now the job market is very very booming for ETL testing okay so you go and search on internet okay or uh, any job portal you will find a number of uh, job in the ETL testing right so there will be different different kind different kind of designations for this some people will say that uh, ETL ETL QA or some will say ETL testing engineer okay some pe people will say data warehousing test engineer okay or some people will say backend tester okay so there are a whole lot of uh, uh, designation that will be coming under this right so the job market is very good right now and uh, I think it will be there uh, I think uh, for long term also why because everything right now is data right we are actually working on data and we are relying on data right everywhere we are generating uh, uh, a number of uh, a huge amount of data right now right so uh, this ETL testing what are the skills that you are learning basically you see here is right SQL Linux okay guys one more thing I would like to add here is uh, F okay I'll say any kind of scripting is also important so Python or cell scripting okay it's also important guys okay I will say that uh, it's not like a uh, mandatory if you are uh, starting your career now but uh, this is important for the people who are already into um, into uh, into testing and they are already working it is very important they need to learn the uh, python because python is the booming in the market now okay this will make you distinct this will distinguish you from uh, other uh, testing professional right now uh, job market as I said that it's uh, it has always been good right ever since I know right uh, uh, so it has uh, so there were a lot of phases for you know manual testing and manual test engineers functional test engineer there were 
lot of job market uh, there was lot of job loss has happened but for ETL testing because you know so much technical things you are not simply doing the manual testing or web based testing you know so many skill sets uh, for example you know SQL you know ETL uh, and ETL testing and also people uh, I mean it's always good if you learn the informatica right as the ETL test I mean any other ETL tool also because that will also give you a uh, good uh, age over other uh, testing professional right so I will also see uh, Informatica or it any other ETL tool right in ETL tools I have covered some videos for Informatica I think uh, you should uh, go and watch them I have also covered the installation steps if you want you can just uh, practice it here also right this is the last one that uh, I wanted to show you so this is also important right any of the ETL tool exposure is also important basically if you want to really grow in your career right so these are the few other uh, so you what you do basically as a ETL tester you learn so much technical skills even some of the developers also don't know right and the amount of knowledge that you carry right and that is something makes you employable for lifetime okay because whatever uh, wherever you go you can basically talk about that right and you you have all those skill sets right you know SQL you know ETL you know uh, uh, you know Informatica as a ETL tool so you can always talk to developer you you also know the uh, Linux cell scripting then you can also talk to Linux developer or administrator Python scripting data warehousing everything you know everything right almost that's the reason you know your um, job is always secure and you are always uh, you always have very high age basically right so similar to the people who are working into automation capability right so people who are working into let's say the best uh, automation for example selenium or uh, i think protector that is uh, not now being supported uh, so uh, selenium or rest api restful services right or maybe uh, people who are working into web services those kind of testing performance testing right so they also carry a very good uh, you know uh, coding knowledge because if you are an automation tester you need to know one of the language right you need to learn at least one of the lang you should have the command over it and that is also making you good employment right but here as part of ETL tester you actually learn more than the language right because you have a exposure to various uh, other areas also lot of skill sets you are learning here right that is the reason job market for ETL tester has always been good and my personal view is that it will always be good okay you can uh, you can transition your career to the next level and uh, uh, you have basically the uh, uh, the holistic understanding of uh, everything right now the future that's uh, already talked about it i think i do not see any problem in the future as well so until uh, we have the testing i think testing will always be there for the software right i mean nowadays we are seeing that there is more and more testing needed because of uh, the bug and defect which are so costly people want more and more testing o only thing is they don't want uh, manual tester or they don't want uh, functional tester because they don't want to do the functional testing etc right uh, so uh, the testing professional will be mostly the they will be testing the uh, middleware or they will be testing the api based testing right all those kind of things right uh, so until we have the testing etl testing market is always good that's my personal understanding and uh, i would uh, i would like to uh, ask people to comment on uh, comment on this particular video if you agree with me okay and you already might be working into etl testing and you already have some exposure to it uh, i would uh, request you guys to comment on this so that it can also uh, if if it is yes or no whatever you feel that please comment it so that we can have the consolidated view and the people who are actually following this path can also uh, you know uh, conclude it right and they can uh, take the uh, cautious decision right or they can um, take the further decision whether they need to uh, move into this career path or they do not need to right and uh, 
believe me guys uh, this entire course that i have done is based on completely based on uh, what is needed for you to perform the job uh, uh, on your job place or workplace right everything is covered here okay and uh, basic things and very good uh, material for cracking any kind of interview in the ATL testing right you do not need to go and uh, pay any money to any institute and learn this even uh, I am 100% sure that if you go to institutes they will also not share this kind of knowledge okay uh, I am not saying that they do not have knowledge but even if they have the knowledge they will not share all this knowledge okay so uh, please uh, uh, utilize this particular channel and the whole purpose of this channel to help uh, people who really need it and who cannot really afford uh, who cannot really afford uh, you know um, uh, taking the tuition classes or coaching classes or paying to the institutes uh, training institutes I think this is personally um, this is the reason I have done this video this entire uh, uh, playlist or entire channel that I have done right three to four months back I started it and uh, uh, and the channel have almost 2.2 K subscribers right now guys and uh, thank you for all your support and contribution I think uh, this 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 numbers give me really encouragement right to so that you know I really feel that I am helping you guys and uh, that's really uh, giving me good uh, energy fresh energy to do more and more right so that's what uh, i wanted to cover as part of this video guys and uh, i already explained you what you need to learn and what uh, how do you uh, proceed about it i think there should not be any further questions on this if you at all have any questions uh, do comment on this video and uh, one more thing guys i think this video will be very helpful if you can circulate around your friends and uh, whoever need it I think uh, based on looking at this video I think I try to explain it whatever I could do and based on best of my information okay and uh, I sincerely hope that this can help you and your family and your friends whoever need it and uh, I think um, uh, you uh, yeah uh, if you like this video please uh, like it and uh, you know that's uh, that's important right as a token of appreciation you can just like this video if you're watching it and uh, also circulate it with your friends and uh, other thing is um, as I ask you people who are actually into ETL testing uh, do you agree what I have covered here and based on your experience I am not saying that you might uh, experience everything all the questions whatever I have covered it here but then whatever you are experiencing and whatever you are observing nowadays whether are you are you uh, you know in line with what I am saying if you are not most welcome you can also suggest if you are not uh, agreeing to certain points that will also be a good uh, uh, answer right so uh, that's all for this video guys and I am closing with uh, I am closing this uh, video uh, now with this and uh, I hope to see you soon okay right now uh, nowadays I'm covering the Python video Python video is I have just started I think there are four videos now you can see here right four videos and uh, these videos I am starting it for absolute beginners who do not even have any programming experience they can also learn it okay and uh, we have I have covered few things and now uh, it's going well I think but only thing is uh, I will encourage people who have bandwidth should learn this okay because Python is also very very important language nowadays uh, everywhere right so wherever you go for interview I think if you have uh, let's say four to five years of experience they will definitely ask you do you know about Python and I think Python is also a good programming language if you do not have any other programming language you, you do not know anything let's say you do not have exposure to Java or JavaScript or TypeScript etc you can uh, make uh, your first uh, programming language as a Python right that is going to be very helpful for you to uh, grow in career right so that's all guys I think uh, I wanted to cover in this and uh, I'll see you soon with the next video until then happy learning God bless you bye